Musicians is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota, and by the members of Prairie Public. I heard an old, old story, how a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning And his precious blood atoning Then I repented of my sins And won the victory Oh, victory in Jesus My Savior forever He saw me and bought me Hi, we're the Benson Family Singers from Faribault, Minnesota. And uh, my name is Pete. I'm the dad of this group. I sing with my wife and four boys. We also have a girl in the family. Uh, she's not part of the band yet. But we are a gospel, bluegrass, a cappella band. We do a variety of music with an emphasis on gospel music and sharing the gospel message with people as we go out. We consider ourselves to be a family ministry. Uh, we began as a barbershop quartet with my wife and I and, and our two oldest boys singing on a bunch of uh, shows that way. And then we ended up going to a festival up in northern Minnesota, Lake Itasca, one year by accident. We were going camping and the, the state park was closed and we drove a little further and saw a sign that said Family Music Festival. 
And so we decided to take a look at it because we needed a place to camp. And uh, we went in and saw a bunch of family groups doing what we do now. And we didn't even know that kind of stuff existed. And so from there, the rest is history. We, we said, you know, we'd like to do that. I, I'm a music teacher by trade, and my wife has been very musical and a violin player. And so we just sort of put that together and uh, helped the kids get started on instruments, eventually uh, branched out into bluegrass gospel. And as a music educator, I know the importance of uh, music in kids' lives and uh, just that it's something that they can do the rest of their life. So we're very happy that, that we're able to do this, especially as a family. We can spend so much time together, but we know this is something they'll be able to take with them when they leave home and perhaps share music with their own family someday. And we're just having a great time uh, together. It's so wonderful to be able to, to spend time together as a family. We sing maybe 60 or 70 times a year and um, we're loving it. My name is David Benson. I play the banjo and I sing. This next song is called No Power in the Water. There's no power in the water Be it the mighty Mississippi or the Jordan when it floods There's no power in the water To take away our sin, the power's in the blood St. John the Baptist preached and made a way with a Savior who would save the whole world through. John baptized water for what more powerful would come. There was something even John the Baptist knew. There's no power in the water, be it the mighty Mississippi or the Jordan when it floods. There's no My name is Rochelle Benson, and um, I'm one of the singers, I guess, of the group, and I play some violin. My dad was a musician. He actually was a choir teacher, and so music has always been around my family. I knew what a music teacher's schedule was like, so marrying my husband, uh, I already knew some of that and what went along with that. So I've been in plays and things like that since I was probably five years old. Sang, uh, I started violin in middle school, and have played since then. Started more classically, so the bluegrass type playing is a little bit different, but had all of the technique and that kind of thing already in place. And so I was really the only one that played instruments before we added the instruments to our singing. 
and here we are today. Never intended for this to happen, but paths have crossed with other people, and as Pete had mentioned, the Lake Itasca Music Festival, that's been a hugely influential in the direction that we went. And Pete does all the musical magic. We both work together as far as knowing what to plan, as far as practicing and that kind of thing, and it's just been very exciting to, to watch the kids as they grow in their musical ability, and as their voices change, uh, what that means to us as a group and how our songs change. And we also have the two younger children, so it's been neat to have them be part of it and learning new things, learning instruments and seeing what it's like to sing in front of people. And a lot of those experiences have just been so amazing for the kids because they give them so many opportunities to meet lots of people and get up in front of people and you have to practice and you have to sing a little bit differently than when you just practice in your living room. But it has been just a, a blessing to watch as the kids, they literally started out just practicing 15 minutes a day and children just grow like sponges and absorb things and so they have just developed and bloomed into these uh, amazing musicians that now we can do this and it's just been a blessing to be able to go around and do this and share that together and those memories really together as a family. I'm Aaron Benson, I'm 15 years old, I play the guitar and sing and this next song is called When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Bright and cloud this morning when the dead in Christ shall rise in the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies in the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. It certainly makes a mom proud to watch her kids grow up and do these things and to be able to do them together um, because as kids get into their teenage years, we certainly go in many other directions and our kids are not unlike any others. They have their friends, they have sports and things like that that they do together. This has been a great activity to unify us as a family and give us lots of experiences to have memories together and experiences together that we would have never had. As well as with our younger children, to be able to share those with their older brothers. And again, our little one at the end is a little girl and she is a true blessing to our family, but quite a bit different than the boys. So it will be really exciting to see what happens next. As we sometimes say, that's team B. Paul and Kazai are team B. And so as they come up and how our music will transform uh, as they become part of the group as well. 
it would be exciting to do even more, absolutely, more performing. And uh, I think that we have a musical vein throughout our family. So certainly the experiences that my husband and I have and the love of music that we have, we love performing and sharing this music and, and really love a cappella music probably the deepest core and would just love to see what that develops if we can stay together and do more together on adding Paula Kazaya in the mix and you know once other voices change it'll be exciting to see what other kinds of harmonies and types of music we like to do so since we like so many different genres of music because it's not just one style that we kind of focus to and so we kind of think of it more as entertainment and enjoying all of the different styles of music and see where um, it takes us as far as our family is concerned so we're really excited to see what happens in the future. I'm Luke, I'm 13, I play the mandolin and sing a lot of the high notes. And this next song we're going to do is called Low Down Chariot. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Why don't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Hey Lord, you low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Why don't you low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Low down the chariot, let me ride. Ride on, ride on, ride on, ride on, King Jesus. Ride on, ride on, the conquering King. I wanna go to heaven in the morning. Ride on, ride on, King Jesus. Ride on, ride on, King Jesus. Ride on, ride on, the conquering King. I wanna go to heaven in the morning. I've been trying so hard to make what I do. You know I'm trying to live the way you want me to. I wanna say goodbye to all the things inside. You don't wanna miss that great glory right So when you break out through that cold sky, please slow it down, don't pass me by. Swing that chariot way down low. I go, 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 right on, right on, King Jesus, right on, right on, King Jesus, right on, right on, the conquering King. I wanna go to heaven in the morning. Right on, right on, King Jesus, right on, right on, King Jesus, right on, right on, the conquering King. I want to go to heaven in the morning. Oh, low down the chariot. Let me ride. 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 Oh, low down the chariot. Let me ride. 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 So one of the feature songs that we do on almost all of our programs is a montage built on a specific hymn. The name of the hymn is Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. And the song was written uh, way back in the 1880s, so it is a, a hymn that has stood the test of time. You still hear it in many churches today. And uh, we decided to do this in different styles and different genres. Lee. Safe and secure from all arms Leaning, leaning Leaning on the everlasting arms Well, that is one of our very favorite hymns, and the song was written back in the 1880s. 
But we were wondering what that song might have sounded like if it had been written in a different time period. Maybe even before the 1880s, way back in the time of Johann Sebastian Bach. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. I am leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. I am leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Well, during the late 1800s, the legend goes that men would gather in barber shops, and while they're waiting for a haircut, they would harmonize together. And they started this form of music called barbershop harmony. Well, we wondered what Leaning on the Everlasting Arms might have sounded like if it had been written specifically for a barbershop quartet. Ready, guys? Who Bum, bum, what a fellowship, on. what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning on the everlasting arms. Well, our imaginations ran wild with this song. And we were thinking about the song and wondering what might it have sounded like if it had been written in a much later era, perhaps the 1940s. And if you'll remember, the 1940s was the era of the big bands. They would have a band, but they would also have a singer or maybe even a small group of singers who would sing in these vocal jazz harmonies. We thought Leaning on the Everlasting Arms would have sounded pretty swell during that time. A one, two, three, ba doom, do 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 what, do what, do what, do what, do what, do what, do what? Well, the 1960s was a great era of music, and we thought Leaning on the Everlasting Arms would have sounded great in the 1960s doo-wop era. And here's how we think it might have gone. dum be dum be dum Stop it, up it, up, stay safe from, stay from all alarms. Stop it, up it, up, do all a fellowship, what a joy divine. I am leaning on to the everlasting arms. What a blessed peace with my lords to be. I am leaning on to the everlasting arms. Lord, I love you, Lord. I'm leaning on those everlasting arms. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. What a blessedness. And what a peace is mine. Hey, Luke, have you ever heard of the Beach Boys? Weren't they the group from California who wrote surfer songs? That's right. I'm impressed that you knew that. Didn't they fire their dad because he was really mean and made them practice all the time? What's your point? Nothing. Well, imagine if this particular song had been sung on the beach in California in the 1960s. Here's how we think it would have gone. Leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm leaning on everlasting arms. 
resting arms. Well, this next style, some people would not even consider it music, but it was actually started 20 or 30 years ago, and it's more like poetry with a beat. So try to imagine this particular hymn sung in the style of rap. Give me the beat, Big D. Say what the fellowship for the joy divine. What the blessing is, what a peace is mine. Oh, see the walk this pilgrim. Wait, wait. Oh, how about the path that goes from day to day? Cause we're leaning on the everlasting arms. See, it's cure from all alarms. We're leaning on the everlasting arms. See, it's cure from all alarms. I said, peace. Well, we think every song sounds good in the bluegrass style, so we was wondering what this little song might have sounded like if it had been sung somewhere down in the hills of Kentucky. Kick it off, David. What a joy to find leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all. Prairie Musicians is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota, and by the members of Prairie Public.